Welcome to Luxury Life, the lifestyle of Qatar's royal family. The Qatari royal family lives so extravagantly that even kings and billionaires can only dream of it. They're worth more than Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos combined. They live in enormous palaces, have a $400 million yacht longer than a football field, and have a Boeing 747 as their own aircraft. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Let's get moving. The 8,000 member royal family, whose origins all date back to the 17th century, leads a lavish lifestyle and owns an incredible range of real estate. The Qataris have investments in business like Porsche, Louis Vuitton, and Barclays, in addition to owning 95% of the Shard, Harrods, and the Paris Saint-Germain football teams. Additionally, they purchase gorgeous gigantic yachts, rare million-pound supercars, and the best breeds of racehorses in addition to traveling on their own VIP airline. The 42-year-old Amir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, who is solely worth $1 billion, is the head of the ruling dynasty. In 2013, Tamim succeeded his father as the Emir of Qatar after his brother rejected his claim to the throne. Many members of the royal family hold senior positions in the government. The Qatar Investment Authority, who controlled oil and gas reserves and was established by the government in 2005, is where most of the family's fortune is derived from. The House of Thani has been able to purchase opulent residences with their profits in countries all over the world, including a beautiful 43,000 square foot seaside palace on the Doha coast. The magnificent interior of the building features marble floors and Sotheby's artwork from the 18th century. Dudley House, formerly one of Britain's most costly residences, was also purchased by the royal family. The 200 million pound mansion, located at 100 Park Lane, was known as the Chic Shack, and even the Queen herself remarked that this made Buckingham Palace appear dull. The 44,000 square foot 17 bedroom castle is reported to have taken six years of careful renovation. A 50 foot ballroom, breathtaking views of Hyde Park and an estimated 100 million pounds worth of furniture are featured inside. They also sought to create a mega mansion out of two residences on London's elite Cornwall Terrace and a gorgeous 15 room apartment in Paris. The row of homes known as Cornwall Terrace is considered the most costly globally. Furthermore, the family has a sizable fleet of private aircraft and flies only on Qatar Amory Flight, a VIP airline specializing in serving the exclusive's needs. Qatar's royal family is not only a leader on land, they also rule the air with a jaw-dropping $600 million Boeing 747-8. With 10 bathrooms, multiple lounges spread across two floors, and an exquisite sleeping suite, the private jet is in a class by itself. The blue, white, and gold aircraft, which looks like a little palace, has room for 76 passengers and 18 crew. It's interesting to note that the plane can accommodate 467 passengers on a commercial voyage. Health is a primary consideration for any VVIP, and this jet is furnished with a cutting-edge medical facility. A dining area and medical room were added to their private jet, which was put up for sale in 2018 and was estimated to be worth 500 million pounds. The Emir is the proud owner of the opulent Al Usail superyacht, which is valued at an astounding 400 million pounds. As a gesture of respect, it was built a foot shorter than his father's yacht, the Katara, and features its own onboard beauty salon, guest lift, and private cinema. The royal family travels in a fleet of vehicles that commoners can only imagine. The $6 million Bugatti Devo was first being driven by Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani in London, along with his Lamborghini CNF KP37 and Ferrari Monza SV2, the vehicle was delivered to London City. Members of the House of Thani have occasionally been seen zooming around town in the Bugatti Chiron. Supercars like the Bugatti Viren, Vitesse Rembrandt Legend, Bugatti Chiron Grey, and La Ferrari Aperta, Lamborghini Centenario White Coupe, and even a Lamborghini Centenario Roadster are among the enormous collection of automobiles owned by the Qatari royal family. There is also McLaren P1 in the royal fleet of supercars. The Qatari prince, known for living the playboy lifestyle, created a sensation in 2011 while attending USC. He arrived in a private jet with a staff of attendants, drivers, security, a nurse, a personal trainer, and even a fixer. He hung around with celebrities including Scott Disick from the reality series Keeping Up with the Kardashians and frequently visited Beverly Wilshire. 
This hotel was featured in the film Pretty Woman. According to a report from the Los Angeles Times, the heartthrob prince received special privileges, raising questions about the validity of his degree. The report stated that he had been permitted to study remotely and had been able to miss classes while earning his master's degree without ever setting foot on the campus. Before or since the prince's stay, no one had ever been granted the privilege. A lecturer further asserted that the prince sent his final paper along with a Rolex watch when he submitted it. Concerns regarding the prince's college degree was not the only one. The Althani family was shaken by other scandals as well. Cassia Galanio, the ex-wife of Qatari Prince Abdulaziz bin Khalifa Al Thani, was discovered dead at her Marbella home in May of this year after what was thought to be a drug overdose. The former energy and finance minister for Qatar was accused by Ms. Galanio of inappropriately touching a minor, leading to her death. The exiled Qatari, whose father was overthrown in 1995 by his own brother, strongly rejects the claim. The former princess of Qatar claimed in an interview conducted before her passing that she had no independence during her marriage and felt cursed by wealth. Prince Charles has ties to the family according to a Sunday Times report published in June. According to the publication, King Charles, who was the Prince of Wales at the time, accepted three payments totaling two million pounds for former Prime Minister Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabir Al Thani. According to Clarence House, the funds were sent immediately to one of the prince's charities who took out the relevant covenants and told us that all the proper formalities were followed. The prince's meetings with Sheikh Hamad were not listed in the Count's circular, which is a list of the formal engagements that working royals take part in. The royal family is well connected to the Qataris thanks to their passion for horse racing, and they possess a sizable amount of real estate in London. The management of Qatar racing and Qatar bloodstock is under the direction of Sheikh Fahad bin Abdullah Al Thani, whose brother is responsible for the acquisition of Dudley House. The Ascot races were sponsored in 2016 by Quipco, a private investment firm owned by six royal family members. The family decided to host some of the largest sporting events in the globe after making successful investments in the country. Both their passion for luxury and for athletics are well-known characteristics of the Qatari royal family. Qatar's Amir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani used sports to gain international recognition. He oversaw Qatar's application to host the FIFA World Cup in 2022 while serving as the head of the National Olympic Committee. He was a key figure in the purchase of the soccer team Paris Saint-Germain. The Spanish team Malaya was bought by Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani, a member of the Qatari royal family, back in 2010. In addition to hosting the Asian Games for the second time in 2030, Qatar will host the Football World Cup this year. Human rights activists were furious by the action after the hosts had become the target of protests over the unfavorable working conditions for stadium employees and the criminalization of same-sex relationships. Millions of people will travel to the Middle Eastern nation renowned for its repression of free speech and dissidents for the World Cup, and £173 billion will be spent on the event's infrastructure. So that was all about the lifestyle of Qatar's royalty. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. See you in the next video.